about to go on a I Miss Wrestling tour slash I Love This Shit tour slash Help Me Fall In Love With Wrestling Again tour slash uh, I Need Some Sort Of Therapy and Get Out Of The House tour. Um, and I'm gonna hit uh, about five or six shows in a matter of 10 days, do a seminar, do a show, some in front of nobody, some in front of some people. And it's really not about that, uh, about the fans uh, or anything like that. It's about just getting in the ring. It's about getting in the ring and trying to find my love and my passion for professional wrestling again. It's trying to uh, hit the indies and meet some of the guys and girls that are on their way up or that have been there for a while and try to feed off their passion and, 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 and teach them my passion essentially and try to just vibe off each other um, and while we're on the trip enjoy the towns see the people um, but it's really it's really a, a personal thing to me uh, for the past three years I haven't had the ability to really enjoy professional wrestling or love professional wrestling and it really kind of made me sad and after getting released uh, in April of 2020 uh, I felt like I spent a long time there wondering whether I even wanted to do this. And then uh, having been locked in the house and locked down <clears throat> because of this virus, this pandemic, I needed to uh, I needed to feel that love again. I needed to feel that uh, emotion for professional wrestling again. And there was no better way to do it than to just hit the ground running and to go into these towns and to just meet these people, talk to these guys and girls, have these matches. Like I said, sometimes in front of nobody. Uh, that doesn't matter. That's not what this is about. It's about uh, it's about reconnecting with what I love. Ah. <laughs> You're very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I think the hardest part of this trip is going to be um, leaving my wife and kids for 10, 11, 12 days, however long it takes. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a, a while since I've I, I've taken that much time away from them and so um, and we've been together for so long in the sense that with this with this quarantine and lockdowns and virus like we've been in the house so it's just <clears throat> it's just been me Maria Freddie and Carver all the time all the time all the time and so we really started to bond and me and Freddie have such a strong bond and me and Carver are really just starting to build that bond and um, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna hurt. Uh, my wife's my best friend and I genuinely enjoy having her around me. She's she's my muse, she's my, my soul, she's my rock and not having her there kind of uh, to be my foundation is going to be very difficult for me. I just have to fax that and get the, the physical from the doctor. For a fake sport, huh? <laughs> for a sport that I... <laughs> Do you, do you get like extra money if you no, win? I think I need to tell them that um, pro wrestling does not need an athletic commission. I mean, I would understand if it was like a part of stunts. Like, if it was stunts, that'd be great. But that would mean we were part of that union, so no, it's just, we would get the benefits from that. Wrap. They're working the workers. They are working the workers. I don't... That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, if the outcomes were like based on you know actuality i would get it but like i don't i don't understand it's like hey shakespeare in the park <laughs> you must make sure give me your blood work for shakespeare for the for the murder scene oh boy well i threw my husband out of the house so um well, um i think ink yeah uh no uh, mike really missed wrestling what so did we uh, uh, so what did we do we told him to go wrestle just don't come home because there's a coronavirus. So Mike's gonna go around uh, the West Coast slash the South and do a whole bunch of shows, um, give some seminars, wrestle mm -hmm. in the style he wants to wrestle. He wants to wrestle. And then he's gonna get tested a couple of times and then he's gonna come home. He's gonna come home. He's gonna take all the precautions that he can. Because if not, I would spank him. Spank him. Good. So I think um, for him, it's kind of like a for love of wrestling Daddy. tour. Um, <laughs> bye. So for him, it's getting back out there, remembering why he loves pro wrestling so much, 
um, and also blowing off some steam that he hasn't really been able to do because uh, there's no shows running. So because there's not a lot of shows running, he wrestles once every two or three months, which isn't enough for a guy that was barely wrestling when he was in WWE. He's gonna be gone for, let's see, Daddy leaves today, and he'll probably be back on the 22nd. What? So he'll be gone the 11th, mm -hmm. 12th, mm -hmm. what comes next? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and he'll probably be back on the 22nd. So that is, I didn't count, um, something like 11 days. 11 days, 11 sleeps. And I know there are gonna be days that I'm on the road and then I'm just incredibly sad. And FaceTiming is just not gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna wanna see Carver and grab him by his cheeks or see Freddie and just give her a hug and, and tell her that I love her or tuck her into bed or be there when she wakes up in the morning. Those parts are gonna be tough. Waking up in a hotel and knowing that my kids aren't right there and my wife's not right there. Uh, it's gonna be a struggle, but you know, it's one of those things when you get into wrestling, even though I wasn't married and I didn't have kids when I started wrestling, you know it, you expect it. Uh, it doesn't make it any easier, but it's kind of one of those things like you you understand the deal when you sign up as a pro wrestler, when that becomes your, your career, you understand the deal that this is part of the sacrifice, that you're away from your family a lot. Um, and so, again, I've been blessed in the sense that Carver was born and I got to spend so much time with him, time that I didn't get to with Freddie. Um, but, you know, it's gonna be really tough to leave this time. And that, that's the one part that I think is gonna hurt the most. I think after he gets back, I might have to go do three or four days down in Florida just by myself, doing photo shoots on the beach. Um, yeah, I don't think he knows that yet, but it's definitely coming, it's, it's happening. Right. Can I have a hug before I go? What? Can I have a hug before I go? Okay. Oh, Is big one. I will bring. I'll bring you a drink when I come back in ten days, eleven days. How's that sound? Does that sound good? And a kiss. But it also means a lot to me because I told him to go. I I was I could see it in his eyes, the glazing over of I need to be doing something else. And so I told him to go. And just like when I went and did a model camp, um, a social influencer camp last year, he told me just go and I got this. I'm telling him just go, I got this. This is always the hardest part of any trip. 
Uh, and I feel like as the kids get older, it gets more difficult as they start to realize that daddy's leaving and he's not coming back for a few days, or in this case, 11 days. Um, but, you know, I think both me and Maria know this is something that should be done and we need to do. So it's just a sacrifice. You know, I've made a lot of sacrifices in wrestling up to this point, and this is just one of many that you just kind of tend to uh, get, get used to after a while, I guess. I don't know if you ever get used to it, but you put up with it. Well, that sucked. They just came unglued after I left. At least Freddie did. Never fun. I think that's the first time she's like, actually broken down because I was leaving. Like I said, it gets harder the older they get because I think they start to realize how long they're going to be away for. Which really blows. To put it bluntly, but... So life we chose, right? At least I chose, or maybe my wife chose. All right.